Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Sun Island Mock. Here we are in Team Rainbow Rocket's castle, which has taken over the mansion in Aether Paradise. So, last time we took on Team Magma's Maxi and Team Flare's Lysander, as they apparently have succeeded in their plans. Of course, we were able to stop them in their tracks. That said, let's go move on. Um, is there a way to... Huh, I guess we have to actually turn that... Th I guess we have to go this way. Alright, let's just run around that guy. Oh, this is the Team Rocket's puzzles we know and love. Okay, I guess we don't have much of a choice here. We kind of have to actually battle this guy. That could be useful. So this will take us this way, and we can just be on our way. Cool. Alright, I guess we're battling this guy. He's <laughs> just the restroom. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. Please have, like, a slow poison type. I would appreciate that. Or a flying type, anything slow. No. Radicate. And not a little one. Alright. I feel like this might have been something Button might have been able to help us out with. Whatever. Let us Stokes Bar Observer this thing. Of course you're gonna sucker punch us. We're gonna eat that up, though. I should have nasty plotted. Of course, when I think eradicate, I think I think more of pursuit than sucker punch. But that's okay. All right, we should paralyze this thing now. Maybe it'll be fully parried, and we won't be able to sucker punch it again before we take this thing down. Or just straight up one shot it. I'll take it. All right. So calling the world cruel. I mean, maybe it is cruel, I guess. He is in Team Rocket. Alright, so... How are we supposed to end up... Oh. I know what we're supposed to do. Do this. And then we can do this. Alright. Onward! It means we're going to have probably another room with the puzzle, and then we'll have to face a grunt or two. Alright. Go this way. This will take us to the thing. Alright, cool. Would this give us the item then? Well, it's probably an electrode. Oh wow, it's not. Okay, cool. HP up and a hyper potion. That was actually a relatively simple puzzle. Cool. 
All that spinning around must have worn you out. Now let's have a battle, fair and square. I'm gonna be honest, the, the, this is more of, this kind of puzzle was more of the Team Rocket Alley. Uh, definitely simpler <laughs> than the other ones. All right, Hypno. Great, just great. All right, you've been forewarned, you know I have Thunderbolt, but what you don't necessarily know is I have Stokes Bark Surfer. I'm gonna paralyze you, then I'm gonna hard switch into, uh, then I'm gonna hard switch into Eclair. Unless we crit. If we crit right now, then I can just finish off with a Thunderbolt. I could've just straight up T-Wave, but honestly, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'd rather actually get some damage down. Ooh, that actually puts you in range of Thunderbolt. Size shock, that's the best you got. Eating it up. Eating it up! Alright. We got this. Couldn't get the crit on the, on the um, Stokes Park Surfer, seriously. Eh, whatever. Spark, you go to level 69. Alright, cool. Woody grew to level 70, and we defeated the Grunt. Do you never get tired? Well, I guess maybe I do eventually. Here's another battle in a row just to wear you down even more. But of course. Alright. You have two Pokemon, so that's something. Alright, Arbok. You know what? That's good. We can just go for a Psychic. Intimidate me all you want. This is my special attacker. <laughs> all right. The only one on my team, the only team member I might have that wants to take the a uh, and intimidate more than 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 a right an alone Raichu would be a Malamar. Gotta be honest. All right, Golbat. Okay, I don't. I guess you can leech life. I'm not even gonna give you a chance. Oh, you're gonna flinch me, aren't you? And no. Okay. Cool. No flinches today. I don't know why I didn't just straight up Thunderbolt. Probably would have killed, but you know. Let's not take a chance on that, even though it doesn't make that big a difference. There's no way Golbat takes this. There's just... I, I don't care how many special defense EVs and IVs you have, what nature you are, what EV light you're holding. Alright, maybe with all that stuff you might end up living, but probably not. All right, let's go heal up and face our next challenge. Who are you? It seems you are not a member of Team Rainbow Rocket. My name is Cyrus. I would like to ask you one question. Is this world the new world? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I can sense in you the strong desire to protect something. You have a powerful spirit. That must mean this isn't the world I desired. I use the power of the Pokemon to control time and space to create a perfect world where the human spirit does not exist. That was when a great shadow appeared and engulfed me and brought me to this world. Is that a Pokedex? May I have a look? Interesting. In this world, even the Pokedex is. The Rotom Dex was made to help trainers. I see, so you have a spirit as well. 
But it's too late. All too late. I cannot stop now. I must remove the weak, incomplete human spirit from the world. And to bring it perfection. Not if I can stop you. How foolish. I will not let anyone get in my way. Let's go! We are challenged, challenged by Team Galactic's Cyrus. Alright. He's leading off Houndoom, which is quite terrible for Sparky. Um... Suddenly wishing I had Vol I had Bolt Switch. Alright, you know what? That is actually terrible for us. Uh, I kind of want to go into Woody here. The problem is... We're probably going to get Dark Pulse in the face. I could have gone into Presence just as, um... As kind of... I don't want to say fodder, but... Kind of, so we could let Woody finish this thing off with a Brick Break, but... Uh, that's just over half. Fire Blast! You know what? That's killing. There's no... There's no living that. No way. Alright. Button, would you mind being able to land a jump kick here? Jump kick will kill. We're not going to outspeed, though. I just need you to live a fire blast and not get burned. We are living. Wow, we ate that fire blast. And we crit on... Oh my goodness. We're making things happen. Button coming through. Alright, presence go to level 70. Next up is gonna be Weavile. I think presence is the way to go. We press I press brick break. And I don't know what that thing's gonna do to us. Because I don't know what it can do to us. It can go for a neutral ice move, I guess. Or a night slash and get a crit. I think Brick Break kills them. Alright, there's the Ice Punch. We are gonna live with that. You can't freeze us. We're made of ice. Take a Brick Break. That should kill. Alright, we got this. Robin go to level 71. Button go to level 71. Next up is gonna be Honchcrow. Um kind of afraid to go into Sparky here because we are weak to dark. I mean, I don't think this thing wants to take a Thunderbolt, though. My real fear here is he's going to have the Dialga or Palkia. Not sure which one, but he's going to have one of them. Alright, take a Thunderbolt. So I can't afford to waste my Z-move on one of these mons. We are one-shotting, so we have that going for us, at least. Okay, next up is going to be Crobat. I think I stay in. Alright, let's hopefully get a power on this thing if we can live the Axe Scissor. Alright, we're going to live that, but we need now to actually get the para. Give me the para. No, nope, he's gonna force her anyway, so we're fine. Never mind, he's not gonna full restore us. Oh, on, on us. Uh. He's gonna full restore now, though, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, full, I'm sure he's gonna full restore. Wow, he's not! All right, and he has Dialga. Um, oh, that actually hard, that that hard counters Seclair. I mean, we have Night Slash. Ugh. So, mm. 
Good thing is, we also hard counter its stab. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna go for... I don't know, but you have Earth Power. Ugh. I could Ultra Burst. I probably should Ultra Burst, actually. Now, the, uh... If we actually somehow live this turn... We're better off going for the Z-move than the Night Slash, unless we actually get the crit. Alright, there's the Earth Power. It's neutral now, so we should be able to take that. And now, let's light up the light that burns the uh, sky. If we can crit, this kills. If we can't crit, then... Well, then we're no better off than we were before, except we now can't use a Z-move. Alright. Let's go. This is resisted, but it's stab. So it should do more than... It should do a, It should do quite a bit more than Night Slash. Because it's 200 versus 70, so 100 because it's resisted. Plus stab, so 150. This will still hurt. This is going to hurt. Might not KO, but it's definitely going to hurt. And if he's not full restoring, then all right, we're of time. He can't full restore now anyway, so we're gonna get wrecked by this. That's okay because that means Robin can finish it actually, but Robin doesn't really have anything to hit it very hard. I think it's with the, uh, the button not to miss a jump kick. Because he can't heal up right now. Jump kick kills. There we go. Wow, if he would have gone for almost anything other than work time, that probably still would have killed. And he would have been able to... Uh, he... Actually, no, we outsped anyway. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. All right. So considering the fact we really didn't have anything for Diaga on um on Eclair, I think that went okay. <laughs> I probably should have Ultra Burst on turn one, but I wanted to see how much Night Flash would do. Why are you able to catch to create such strong bonds with your Pokemon? And how are you able to turn those bonds into strength? Don't you get it? Eric is kind to all Pokemon. I see. You need not worry, Rotom. I will not do anything to this world. I believe I shall return to the perfect world I created. But before that, take this key. You obtain the Galactic Key. Okay. Use it to activate the machine on the wall behind me. This should open the mirror door. Had I met you sooner, would things have been different for me? I don't know, you're still crazy. Alright, so now that works. Fair enough. And the key broke. Of course. All right, maybe we can get healed up now. Eric, look! The hidden door behind the mirror is unlocked. Now we can use the warp panel. I knew you could do it, Eric. Okay, let me heal your Pokemon first. Okay, thank you. Now let's go. All right. So. Hopefully this isn't the worst leadoff. Alright, let's go. Never mind! Oh dear. Well now, what do we have here? I come out one wondering what the commotion is, only to find the door to the center of the castle ajar, and intruders running wild! It 
seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I had hoped. Who are you? Where's my mother? You haven't harmed her, have you? Mother, you say? I see you're the daughter of the president. My name is Getsus. I am representing Team Plasma. I too was summoned from another world, much like the other leaders you've defeated. There's no need to worry. You will find the president up ahead blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ah, uh, not so fast. Please, get out of my way! Unfortunately, I cannot let you be on this point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I have been sent to this world, and now I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose, it is to travel between the worlds, freeing all Pokémon from foolish people, and at the same time, consolidate all the power in all the worlds to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful idea, however, I have need of a useful pawn. And the man, that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. If I can make good use of him, and set him up as a king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. I have found that humans with their predictable ambitions are easier to use and control than a freak without a human heart. It wouldn't do at all to have you get in, my, in his way, especially when I must establish him as my king. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well, then. All obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. Well, at least we don't have a puzzle to go through for him. Let's go. We are challenged by Team Plasma, Getsis. Alright, Getsis, let's go. Cothagrigus. That sucks. That actually sucks. Alright. Let's paralyze it. Come on. Give me the hacks. Give me the hacks. Power split. Oh, great. Actually, that's physical attack, right? Is it physical or just... Oh, the plays! Alright, we need the power right now. Give me the power. Give me the para. Come on. No, all right. That sucks. All right, the hydraulic is a problem. I'm gonna have to T-wave this thing. If we can, avoiding. Let's not miss. Land in the T-wave. Now I have to switch. All right. I'm gonna go into Woody here. We're gonna take a hit to the face, obviously, but this Hydreigon's a problem. He's probably gonna have the Zekrom or the Reshiram. Although it's kind of weird considering it should be ends, but whatever. Brick Break won't kill, but he's got the full restore if he wants to heal it. But this will kill. Dragon Pulse from a Hydreigon? Yeah, that's killing. <laughs> Alright. The good thing is now... We don't have anything for that thing. We're a Psychic type. I just realized we have nothing for Hydreigon! Alright, we're gonna Jump Kick. We do outspeed. He's gonna full restore. So, we no longer outspeed. Uh, that's a problem. We're not going to miss our jump kick, at, le at least. So that means the two hit KO, if we can live a hit, jump kick kills. Button, can you take a dragon pulse? I don't think you can. Ugh, that's a crit. We're about to get destroyed, aren't we? Alright, Ice Punch it is. Presence, can you- Oh my god, how does he keep critting? How does he keep critting? 
Like seriously. All right, I think we have to Ultra Burst and Sun Seal Strike, even though it won't be Stab anymore. Ugh. I think we're better off not Ultra Bursting right now because Sun Seal Strike at least will be Stab. We stay put as long as we don't flinch right now. At least this will be Stab and Neutral. And that's gonna kill. Alright. Well, we didn't switch. Alright. Sparky grew to level 70. Next up is gonna be Balthalot. And of course we don't have anyone on our team right now who can who has fighting coverage because they all fainted. Alright. Okay, you're probably going to I don't even know. I'm gonna photon gazer. You have EQ! I don't know why I wasn't thinking of EQ, but I wasn't. We're gonna live though, so you know, we have that going for us. I think I have to uh, ro um, HP restore here. I'm gonna use the Roto HP restore. Might as well. Rotom, thanks for helping us out. Okay. We're gonna eat another EQ. Should do about, I would think, a third. Yeah, a little more than that. So at this point, another sun still strike should kill. We can take an EQ as long as you don't crit. In fact, I think we can take a crit. Uh, pushing it. Probably not. But this should take down the Balthalot. Hawkagrigus. Not exactly what I wanted to deal with, but, you know, that's life. Alright. Rather not attack it with a normal type. Or not a normal type, with a physical move, I mean. Obviously I can't attack with a normal type move. It doesn't even really make any sense. Alright, let's well, Thunderbolt. Hopefully get the Parahax. That would be very much appreciated. Shadow Ball, that's gonna hurt, but it's a Gothic Regus, so we should be able to take it. And you're getting the spit F drop. That hurts. If you don't if you if you can take that if you eat this, we're in trouble. Right. Taking you down. Next up is gonna be the Bisharp. Oh my goodness, why are all of our why are all of our mons with fighting moves have- uh, why do they all have to faint? He has Rush Room or Zach Kong, it's- either way. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna bait the Sucker Punch. He probably doesn't have Sucker Punch, but I'm going to assume he does. Scissor. Ugh, that hurts. Alright, hopefully Button can outspeed. Um, Present doesn't want to take an Iron Head and won't out definitely won't outspeed. Uh, Woody won't outspeed. Button might, probably not though. Button does! I made the right play. Are you kidding me? It lives? Ugh, please tell me he doesn't have another full restore. He better not have another full restore. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to 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 guess he doesn't he does. Mistakes were made. Okay. Well that means I ha I wasted a turn. And I have to heal a button. That means I have to let Robin go down. Yep. 
You know what? I'm gonna play the safe. The safe play is to is to revive Woody. This way, I have I have a new uh, I have another Pokemon I can switch into to revive something else if it comes down to that. That thing is going to be I feel like it's gonna be defiant, so I can't go for a sucker punch. Although that would put it in range of even if I'm not defiant, I'm thinking um justified. Defiant I don't care about. I don't know why I'm messing them up. Alright. I'm not lowering any of your stats. Okay, the crit's gonna kill. Which means now Button should be able to take you down with a jump kick. As long as we don't miss that Bisharp's going down. Alright, get wrecked. Teamwork! Alright. And Zekrom. Well then. That sucks. Alright, you know what? I want a Beak Blast to burn that thing. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to do this thing long term. He's gonna go for a physical move, it's a Zekrom. So... We're gonna Beak Blast. It's resisted, it's gonna do nothing, it's not meant to do anything, it's meant to burn that thing. Are you kidding me? We're avoiding? I mean, right now we're actually trying to let Woody actually take a hit right now. That's kind of what we're going for here. Does it not make contact? Or Okay, it does make contact. We're good. We're good! You are burned now, which works out pretty well for us. You already used up your two full restores, so... Let's Brick Break now. We're going down to a Bolt Strike either way. Doesn't really matter. Because now... That thing is nerfed. In fact, Button could probably handle this thing at this point, but you know what, I'm gonna let Claire do it. I might as well actually just play it safe and go for the Roto HP Restore. <laughs> no reason to get fancy with this. Because, I mean, at this point we pretty much win. Because unless you crit EQ... Or crit bolt strike, either way. But you would need a crit. <laughs> Alright. Photon Geyser plus burn damage might be enough. Might not be, though. Hopefully, he doesn't have another full restore in the back of his pocket, because that would kind of suck. But you know what that? No, we're gonna KO. We're good. We didn't even need, we didn't even need an ultra burst. What do you know? <laughs> All right. So with that, we defeated Gatsus. I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. Well, you can and were. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I am the perfect roar of a perfect new world. You lost. Now please, step aside. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. What? Did he just hit her? Like, throw her across the room? <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get you don't get it, do you? I can't be defeated. I won't be. It's K 
cannot be allowed. You tiny intruder. If you value your girl's life. Well, this girl's life. Throw aside all your Pokeballs at this moment. You cowardly... Eric, please, don't listen to him. Shut your mouth. What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter, throw away all your Pokeballs right this instant. No. Were you not listening, or did you simply not understand? Well, well, you leave me no choice. This girl must... I see you're still dedicated to your own desires, Gensis. You! It has been a while. Miss Lily, it is good to see you again. We ran into each other in the lab, perhaps, you recall? Mr. Colrus? And you, Eric, we meet again. Miss Wick had sent word that you may need assistance. You'll have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your trail using an invisibility device I recently invented. It seems Getsis here has caused you quite some trouble. Although it appears this Getsis is from a different world that, um, than I know. Of course, the chorus of this world, but you should have no reason to meddle with my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getsis. That's enough reason for me. What's this? My body is being pulled! No! No! And there he goes. Thank you, Colrus. It seems like repeated use is not a problem, even with the prototype. I should have known. Colrus machine number 1102 would work. Thank you for helping us, Mr. Colrus. But what did you do? What did you do to that man? I simply adjusted his dimensional channel, if you will, and sent him back to his original world. But guess this is a man with power to match his ambition. He is not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that gets us out of trouble in his world. Yes? But turning Aether Paradise back to its original form, with all the different worlds mixing together, that won't be easy even for me. There is tremendous power of evil at the center of the castle. If we can remove that man's twisted desires, the Colrus machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? If we can do something about him, everything will be fixed? Indeed, Miss Lily. You are a very sharp young lady. I would like to study this castle, however, so I leave the rest to you two. Alright, cool. Thanks for healing up my Pokemon. The battle with Getz is actually was... Well, it was mostly, I guess, the problem... I guess the problem was mostly the Hydreigon. Um... I mean, Cofagrigus was kind of an issue, maybe Bisharp to some extent, but the Zekrom wasn't a problem. We just basically Beak Blast burned it and then basically took care of it with, uh, with Necrozma. So, I guess next time we're going to try to find Giovanni and try to save the Aether President Lusamine. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we try to find and confront the Team Rainbow Rocket boss, Giovanni. Goodbye!